Good morning and g'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with myself and Mr. Icarus here and today, today, we're going to continue with Green Science. So, you, last episode, last episode, we did a little bit of strange matter, a little bit of strange matter. Um, we set it up, it's meant to be imported into Deuterium, there is no Deuterium uh, in the galaxy, so... It's not really working. At the same time, we did set up imports for all our other materials, and most of them are up and running. Um, looks like almost all of them are up and running. Yeah, we've got progress. We've got progress. But um, today, I want to continue down our tree. We are trying to get green science. We're trying to get green science. Oh my god, green science! It's so easy. Um, and we're trying to make thirty of them per second. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to fill a whole bolt's worth. Uh, and we've been working on just this half, just just the graviton lens half. Um, we haven't even looked at the quantum chips. Um, we did the graviton lens. Well, we're, we're doing the graviton lens this episode. We just finished Strange Banner. Strange Banner was the last item we did, uh, being these guys right here. Let's close that, actually. Uh, let's go. Yeah, we did Strange Banner. Strange Banner required... Um, Particle containers, particle containers are right there. Of course, particle containers require those stupid green motors. Green motors are right here. Green motors required engines on engines on engines. And they also required um, the magnetic rings. So we have got some progress up and running. We have got some things up and running. Uh, and today, like I said, we're going back and we're getting the graviton lens. After graviton lens is done, we can make half half a gravity matrix we still need to go down the production line to make the quantum chips but first things first uh we need to take we need to get icarus and run him over here and we need to take our output from our uh strange matter this right here uh bring it up a tile at least uh back down to ground level and run it this direction and I have half a belt, half a belt of strange manner, half a belt of strange manner, and I need to get to uh, half a belt of the graviton lenses. It's a one for one. So for every uh, single item of strange manner we bring in, I need to. For every strange matter I bring in, I will have to get out a graviton lens. On top of that, I'm going to need two diamonds. Um, the recipe says uh, four diamonds, but of course we've only got half a belt of uh, half a belt of strange matter, which means I need uh, not four belts worth of the diamonds. I only need two belts. So we need to dump an assembler right about here. Uh, that assembler is going to be doing graviton lenses. Uh, graviton lenses, as I said, are going to need two belts worth of diamonds. That'd be one belt. That be two belts. Uh, plus, it's going to need output belt. Mm, we're going to put that there. That 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 there for now. Uh, things may change, but uh, that's the plan. You're going to have an input of strange matter. A let's go with a output of lenses and an input of diamonds from both belts. Now, in saying that, I still need to get two down here. My diamonds. Now, diamonds, uh, we were just going to go pick them up. Uh, they are, hang on, uh, let's stop it yellow. Uh, I'll line things up there. And, nope. Uh, up top. There. Diamonds. Diamonds we left all the way back up here. Um, yes, we, we did diamonds ages ago because we did a three belts total. Uh, one belt to do the structural matrix. Structural matrix. The yellow science. Uh, plus we need, well, one belt to do the titanium crystals to do. Yeah, yeah. No. No, it was directly for yellow science. Anyway, I need to take these two belts and I need to plug them into those two belts to plug them into those two belts, to plug them into those two belts. Uh, at the same time, I have a splitter down here that I definitely want to avoid. So we're going to come up a tile to there and run into there. Uh, we're going to do the same with the other belt. We're going to bring it there, to there, to there, to up a tile, uh, to there, and then swap over to straight belts. Bring a straight belt from there to there. Straight belt from... Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to have to make a pit stop right here. Uh, bring that out to the tile beside it. 
then bring that belt down to join in with this little marker we left right here, which needs that wind turbine out of the way. Uh, you. To there. You. To there. Put our wind turbine back because we broke the power network. I don't know if it's an important power network, but I prefer it to be existing rather than non-existing. Uh, same time, I would like to, if at all possible, you. No. I want to get rid of the crap in my inventory. I have all these... Um, what are they called? Kimberlite ores. Kimberlite ores. I want to get rid of them. So we're just going to top up each of these machines until I run out. Cool. Excellent. Alright, back to what we were doing. So we need to run these belts from here to here to here to here to from here. Grab the belt again. Uh, we need you to run to upper tile. Out of building range. Of course it's out of building range. Why would it be inside building range? Uh, there. Uh, that power pole is going to get in the way of the other one. Uh, we need to move the power pole over tile. And I need to grab the other belt from there. And run it through my narrow gap. Like Everything was carefully planned. As you can tell, everything fits beautifully. And into there. Then we need to run, run that diamond into there. That diamond into there. Uh, nope, nope, nope. That diamond into there. That diamond into there. Cool. Cool. All right. What are we missing? We're missing some belts somewhere. Go, bots. All right. So, with that out of the way, we need to get these graviton lenses. Now, the graviton lenses, I need 60 machines. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to place out our machines first. That is 15. That is 30. That. Come on. That's 45. And. Nope. And that makes 60. Okay, 60 machines. Alright, we already know that Strange Banner is going to come across the top. From there to there. Diamonds are going to come across the bottom. There to there. And there to there. And... Plug that diamond belt into that diamond belt. That diamond belt into that diamond belt. Spin the camera around. Did I get... No! I was like five tiles short. There to there. So Strange Matter is done. Diamonds are done. The, the return or the output belt is not done because the next thing I want to talk about is I want to actually I want to talk about and I want to work out where we're going to put the labs for the gravity matrix because the gravity matrix takes 24 seconds, okay? But we do get two of them per craft. So that means I get one every 12 seconds and I want to make 30 per second, which means I need 12 times 30, which is 360. I need 360 labs and we've been building them in stacks of 10, so I need 36 stacks of 10. Which means I need to work out exactly where we're going to put our laps. On top of that, because this is half the project is done, um, I'm going to... I want to put in the labs here. I want to put the labs in at this point, because this is the halfway point. And then, for hopefully, the bottom half of the map, we can fit in the quantum chips. That's my plan, and that's my hope. Uh, on top of that, there are definitely some resources in the way that might come back to haunt us. So, I'm going to start with our labs. Um, <sighs> technically, I can put a tower right here to collect the science. So, sure, let's just start right here. Uh, we're going to drag out our labs. We're going to hit tab twice, so they're in pairs of two. And I'm going to drag a back one, which is 14. So, there's 14 labs. Uh, I need to build them 10 high, don't forget. Uh, so we're actually looking for 38, 36 labs total. There we go. So 14 plus 14 is 28. Uh, plus... Uh, that would be 15. That would be 12. That is our full stack. So that is all 36 labs in a row. Sure. I regret my decision already because it doesn't have sorters attached. 
Yeah, I want sword is attached. Okay, so this has taught us two things. One, uh, technically this amount of labs is about the same length as the Graviton Lens build. So what I want to do is I want to remove that. And I think we're going to have you come down to there, down here. Where's our next grid shift line? Not for a while. Not till all the way down there. Okay, so let's not waste too much space between one build and the next. Let's remove that back. Let's run a belt this direction. So this is going to be the input for our graviton lenses uh, into labs, which are going to be... I don't know how long exactly, so we're just going to build them all the way up to here. At uh, same time, I need a belt. Come on. I need a belt to feed the graviton lenses in to the input of the belt. So there we go. Uh, okay, and then we're going to do delete, area of effect, and just get rid of all of those. Okay, uh, same time, I need an out for our, our, our gravity matrix. So we're going to run an output belt along beside this belt. Uh, remove all of those again. Because I have a feeling 36 labs is about the same length as my uh, 60 machines making graviton lenses. Okay, uh, so I need a lab right here. On top of that, I'm going to need another belt for the input of the... <sighs> What's it called? Um, the quantum chips. So we're going to assume that the belts will be on this side and we're going to assume it's going to run right to left. I actually don't know. We haven't planned that far in advance. I can reverse the belt if I have to. I prefer not to, but I can if I have to. Uh, so we're going to come all the way back to here. We're going to add our sorters, which shall be our output, input. Come on, bots. Input. And we'll set you to green science. Okay, so then we're going to copy that, delete that, and drag that back along a second time. We're going to hit tab twice to get them in pairs. I'm going to drop it back a tile. That is 14. So that's our first 14 labs. We need a one tile gap once again. And then we need to do our next set of 14, which is there. I still need more bot speed. Okay, that is 28. And then two, four, six. Eight. Uh, I need eight. Yeah, actually, it's way shorter. I bought 12. 14, 14 is 28. And my phone is not so hot. 28 plus 8 is 36. Okay. So that is the correct amount. Now, if I, I can build two, I can build four, I can build six. I'm going to build six. And then, obviously, I'm going to scrub six from the other end. Uh, okay. So, before I forget, uh, we'll fly the other end, and I'll put my phone on silent at the same time. And I'm going to scrub six from this end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, um, I changed my mind. I want the six back at this end. I'm going to scrub the six from the other far end. Okay. We'll get there eventually. Like, eventually I'll, I'll make a decision. I'll stick to it. Uh, okay. Scrub those six. Okay. So we're going to remove that belt, remove that belt, remove that belt. They're all erroneous. Okay. And then we need to take our laps. We have uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we need to build all the labs to that height yeah blueprints should be here within the week within the week we hope and the devs haven't actually mentioned uh anywhere whether if you blueprint something at height so you know a storage container or a laboratory or fluid storage or something um if you put down a blueprint with them stacked 10 high whether the blueprint system we're assuming and hoping that it will put down a stack that's 10 high, but the devs haven't actually, in all the pre-release stuff that they've mentioned, haven't actually clarified whether it will or won't. 
Um, because that would just make my life so much easier. Much, much, much easier. Uh, yeah. Anyway, speaking of blueprints, uh, one thing that I am also waiting on is we went and set up the, uh, Strange Manor, which requires Deuterium. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to end, I, I need to add a whole bunch of fractionators to convert all the hydrogen I, uh, have, because at least I have hydrogen, I don't really have Deuterium. Uh, convert all the hydrogen into Deuterium. And again, that one is desperately waiting for blueprints because blueprints will make that uh, at least a viable solution. Because uh, I'm going to say I'm not building, I'm not building five belts worth of uh, hydrogen to deuterium processing by hand. That's that's just too much. Uh, at the same time, we can power up the labs. Labs are really easy to power up. Uh, actually, blueprints outright would just make power pole placement and everything else so much easier. You just make a little build of four of four of a build and then copy and paste it with power poles already included. Yeah, blueprints blueprints will be a thing. At least I hope they'll be a thing. That also means I can finally share my workshop in all its glory, uh, configured with a nice easy way that hopefully you guys can put it down early game, providing, well, we're, we're assuming we can share blueprints, that's another thing. Uh, yeah, blueprints are going to be a thing, they're going to be a thing, there's going to be a lot to find, a lot to play with, a lot to explore, and, uh, yeah, maybe, so in the old days of Factorio, uh, one way to share blueprints was to share a save file with whatever you were trying to blueprint and once you had a save file you could then hey we have graviton lenses excellent we've got half the production done um yeah after you had the save file you could then copy the blueprint and then paste the blueprint in your own game taking from one save file to another but that gets us to the gravity matrix gravity matrix means we are halfway halfway towards getting gravity matrix up and running next thing we need is the quantum chips now the quantum chips quantum chips sir uh oh crap that's the fault line right there. Oh, yay. Okay, I thought I had more room. Um, I did have room until we put down this build. All right, so quantum chips. Quantum chips are going to require uh, two ingredients, okay? Uh, they're going to require the processors, plus they're going to require the plane filters. Now, processors, pretty easy. We need circuit boards, plus we need the microcrystalline components, okay? Processors, super, super easy. Uh, plane filters. Plane filters, not too hard. Titanium glass. Titanium glass, super, super easy. Uh, just some glass, some titanium, some water, mix the three together. Boom, you get titanium glass. Uh, cashmere crystals, fairly easy build, you know, titanium crystals, graphene, some hydrogen, a lot of hydrogen, in extreme amounts of hydrogen, um, we'll get back to that, that's that's going to require a couple of sub-processes, uh, but for our quantum chips themselves, we need, luckily, we need 60 machines, um, so we're going to start, I guess, right here, level with this machine... Uh, where is that grid shift line? I thought it was right here. Is that not a grid shift line? It is not a grid shift line. Okay. Well, we're going to start right here. We're going to start with uh, that machine, which is going to make quantum chips. Uh, quantum chips are going to come out and in there. Quantum chips have two inputs, one of them being processors. Uh, the other one, actually, they need two belts worth of processors. Okay, hang on. We need to, we need to talk about belt quantities. All right, so we need no, we need one belt of processors plus one belt of plane filters. Yes, to make half a belt worth of quantum chips to then go in here and then we get twice the rate out which will give us a full belt of green circuits uh green circuits green cubes uh gravity matrix all right so same story we're going to need a sorter which is going to go in in out i'm going to need 60 assemblers so we're just going to drag without sorters attached that is 30 uh no that is 30 no that come on jetty there we go that is 45 uh, that is 60. All right, and again, we're just going to assume our belts are going to go left to right. I actually don't know for sure, but we're just going to make the assumption. 
Gonna make the assumption and hope it doesn't come back and bite us. Uh, we're gonna take the other belt along that side. Uh, that belt goes to there. That belt goes to there. That belt goes to there. And of course, I never leave my belts even at one end, so they're easy to attach to one another. Okay, so that should do our belts, that should do our sorters. Uh, we can add our sorters on. My bots are pretty fast, so they should get the belts done almost as quickly as I can run from one end to the other. He says, with a big blank bit where the belts don't exist. Thanks, bots. A little bit faster. There we go. Okay. Uh, it didn't make the sorter sound. I like it when it makes the sorter sound. I like that sound. Okay. And here at the end, no, I am officially out of sorters. Okay, back up to the tower. We're going to grab all the sorters, all the assemblers, and all the belts. Because I have a feeling we're going to need all of that in just one second. Okay, so that gets us to there. All right, so we've got quantum chips built and organized. Quantum chips, as I said, they're going to need processors and they're going to need plain filters. Now, for every process, uh, for every quantum chip, I'm going to need two processors. So I'm going to need a whole belt's worth of processors. Uh, processors, so quantum chips take six seconds. Processors take three seconds, which automatically means I'm going to need, again, 60 assemblers. So we're going to put down another 60 assemblers. Uh, yep. Uh, I guess... Plain filters, plain filters. So let's put you there. Let's set you to processor. <sighs> okay, processors are going to require. Let's let's look at what processors are going to require. Processors are going to require. So I need a full belt of processors, which is going to require two belts. Two belts of uh, the circuit boards and two belts worth of the microcrystalline components. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, can I put that? No, hang on. You would need to go production. I need to get two belts in potentially. But you're too far away. But could we do it there? So what we can do is we can set you to be processors. And then my processors are going to require two belts of circuit boards. Plus they're going to require a belt of microcrystalline components. And another belt of microcrystalline components. Thanks, autosave. Could we do that? And that way you could go directly from machine to machine. Because basically the output of this machine is going to the input of that machine. Uh, you make one every three seconds. You need two every six seconds. It's, it's a one to one ratio. And I guess the answer is sure. Uh, we want to remove just a surface. So now we get to remove this whole belt. Technically, actually, I just want to remove the sorters. Uh, just the sorters, please. Yeah, that's more accurate. Okay, alright, alright. So let's go through this process a second time. Uh, grab those guys, drag them back with me. Because we actually still need the machines. Okay, so then it means this machine is going to need that input plus that input and that input and that input. Uh, that belt is perfectly fine. It does mean that I need to get plain filters, which, considering all this mess that I'm building, are probably going to come in from the right-hand side rather than the left-hand side. Uh, so we might as well reverse that belt at the same time. Come on, Icarus, fly for me. Yeah, there, there, there needs to be a way to reverse the belts. Like, Factorio finally, finally, 
don't get me wrong, finally imp implemented a way to reverse the belts. Uh, you could just ghost a belt over a belt or run along the belt with uh, and, and build it. Build belt over belt. Um, or you can, yeah, ghost it and have the bots touch each belt and they'll, they'll flip it around for you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Satisfactory has done the same. They added some way for belts to be twisted and turned. Uh, but yeah, Dyson Sphere, I can, I can definitely tell you, after building enough projects, I'd really like a way to just reverse the rotation of a belt. Uh, okay, so then we need to come to... Come on, inside building range. There we go. Uh, that belt plus... That belt plus... That belt. Uh, and the build is the same length. It is 60 machines long, so we're just going to throw the belts at the problem okay and then we'll fly back to this end and we can grab that machine yeah I can drag these ones out first no I need this little bit of belt here please cool and then I can drag those ones out it's just giving a chance for the bots to get the bottom lines done whilst we Add all the sorters to our quantum. Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay. Add all the sorters to our quantum chips. All right. And yeah, please don't build those. Please come build these belts, boys. And these belts. I like. It's very important, as you can see, that the bots are faster than me. The bots have to be faster than Icarus. When running around, it's going to make your life so much easier. Uh, nope. Okay, it goes there. Alright, so then we need to dump those machines in. We know it has to be the same length, so I can just, you know, start on a machine and overlap and keep building. And there to there to there. Okay. So that's our processors plus our quantum chips done. Now, all I need to do is I need to get uh, circuit boards in here and here and microcrystalline components in here and here. That sounds easy enough, apart from there's a copper patch in the way. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to put down a new tower. We're going to come all the way back to here. We're going to put in our lovely tower. Sure. Uh, can I... Just, just make you go a little bit more out of my way. Thank you very much. All right. We're going to need to bring in... We're going to need to bring in iron and copper along with warpers. Just 100 off, please, sir. Local demand, remote supply. Throw those guys in. Throw those guys in. Uh, okay. Then we need to make circuit boards. Now, circuit boards, I'm going to need uh, two belts worth. Uh, we're fairly lucky that... Well, we're fairly lucky that uh, for every one copper so for every circuit board I need a bit of iron plus I need half a bit of copper so what we're going to do is we're going to have you be no, 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 number two UB copper uh, we're going to have you be iron and I'm also going to have you be iron I don't know how long this is going to be, so we're just going to build it out to, say, there. Uh, there, 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 and there. Okay, so then we need an assembly machine once again. Good old assembler. Uh, and then we're going to need our circuit output. So we're going to, we, we need to get two belts worth of green circuits. So I'm going to need two belts worth of iron plus uh, two half belts worth of copper, being one whole belt total. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have you get iron from there, copper from there, output to closest belt, and after I have ten of you, so that's three, six, nine, ten, that is that belt done. Okay, then we're going to put down a new one right here. We're going to remove your need for that iron belt. We're going to cut that iron belt out. We're going to change you to get iron from there. I'm going to remove your output sorter and put your output sorter there instead. And we have three, six, nine. I'm so close. So close. Okay, ten. All right, then we can cut those belts off. 
Alright, and... Well, that... Is off by a tile. It's close, but it's off by a tile. And I don't have blueprints, so I'm not moving everything. Um... What was the other thing you needed? You needed... Plane filters, which are going to come in from the left-hand side. Okay, so we can take this belt into here, up to there, up to there. We can take that belt of green circuits up and plug it into that one. So, that should be our circuit boards done, along with our processors, along with our, well, half our quantum chips. Next thing we're going to need is going to be the microcrystalline components, which, same story, requires a... Uh, two silicon plus one copper and uh actually can i remove that belt so it's just easier to understand what's going on excellent uh so we're gonna need yet another tower uh, we're gonna pop that tower right about there we need to build cancel uh silicon all right and are we gonna run into any ore patches probably not probably not he says okay so we need to build two belts worth of microcrystalline components now they're going to require a uh, two silicon plus one copper uh which when i need two belts worth that is four silicon and two copper which is way more than what one tower can support because i really keep trying to keep my towers to 120 items per second or less so what we're going to do is we're going to do silicon right there in the middle we'll do silicon on that side as well we'll do copper short on that side uh and i think the first thing is we need to stretch out the belts because we can see we're just going to miss the copper patch below us and I'm really hoping we don't run into a stone patch above us. Uh, and I'm going to need 40 machines? 40 machines. We know that's 20. So I need to go a little bit further. Uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3... And the easiest way to run that is probably left to right. Probably. And then wrap it down around and join it into this belt. Okay, so we need to build from there to there, let's say. We need an assembler right there. Uh, you, sir, are going to do microcrystalline components. We're going to do input, 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 output, uh, 15. Uh, 30. Yeah. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the 40 that we need. And it means that belt I can take and run into there. Cool. So that's our microcrystalline components. Half of, half of, uh, I need another tower. Too close, too close. I can build it there. Okay. In that case, we're going to put... Where's that stone patch? Can he fit it? Oh, that's our building range. Well, let me run backward for just a second. No! Okay, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to grab... Nope, we're going to grab some miners, which are going to be in one of these towers. Nope, nope. Uh, that tower. We're going to put miner there, miner there, miner there, and a miner there. Okay. Then we're going to take this. We're going to have you shrink. And we're going to have drones go even faster. Excellent. Uh, that'll help with our grand construction projects. And... That miner might be in the way. 
so we're going to put you there instead. Okay, so that's our output belt, which is already hooked up. We just need an input belt, or three of them to be more exact, uh, which are going to be one, two, three, yep. Yeah. That's our first input belt. That's our second. That's our third. We're going to bring... Sure, you can be copper. Uh, you can be silicon, uh, and you can be silicon as well. Uh, we're gonna grab our assembler. Yeah, it really doesn't like that. Technically, they built there. Okay, where are our sorters? Alright. Uh, grab all the sorters. Probably should have grabbed belts as well, because always running out of belt. Yeah, 300 on me. Yeah, we might finish this. Okay, that goes to there. That goes to there. And that goes to there. Okay. So, we're going to have to work in reverse. So, we're going to have to come from this end. We're going to drag. That is 15. That's 30. Three, six, nine, whoop. Three, six, nine, ten. Okay, so I have spare space. Hang on, let's remove, not belts. All right, drag that out, tab it. So that way I can put power poles in. Uh, so that's 30. Three, six, no! I just noticed you're all a sort of show up. Okay. Can I get one extra machine at this end? No, that would be a hard no, JD. That would be a very hard no. It's 30. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, that, that definitely does not work. At all. Hmm. Okay. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. We'll just remove everything. We'll go back. We'll squish them up against one another. Alright, so we start here. We drag them out. That's 15. That's 30. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 1, 2. Yeah, let's add 2 at this end and take 2 off this end. So it looks a little bit less squishy up here. Uh, belts back on my list. Remove that, that, that. And take those out. Okay. So with that done, uh, we need you to have those size ships plus those size ships. We need you to have those size ships plus those size ships. Uh, we need you to do local, remote, local, remote. Uh, local, remote, remote, and local. Uh, we need to start adding power poles. Uh, so we're going to need a power pole there, power pole there, power pole there, and there. Uh, are you set up to... No? Okay. Uh, remote, remote, local, local. Uh, okay, so you guys have got warpers at least. And we're getting power up and running now. So let's do power there. Power. Many, many power poles later. Uh, there, there, and there. Uh, this build, in theory, I can put power poles in? Yes. And probably with more creative power pole placement, I could have probably powered the build behind it. Uh... 
Yeah, it's just a couple of sorters that are not getting power. Alright. So, we'll just add power here for these sorters. Uh, just sort of anywhere and everywhere. Not too worried about where power pole placement is. Um, okay, so that's that done. That's that done. Uh, that brings us on to processors and quantum chips. Which you need a power pole there and a power pole there. And you guys are going to get power from the labs themselves. Uh, there. And then there. And then there. There. Yeah, the bots keep flying off because I've given them all sorts of odd jobs to do that we haven't completed yet. But that's okay. This is why we come back and we power up everything together so we can make sure that I haven't missed anything. Alright, and there and there. Okay, so. You guys are running, in theory, if we have deuterium. We don't have deuterium. But, like, we, we have quantum uh, graviton lenses. We're, we're mainly missing the quantum chips. The quantum chips are still missing the plane filters. We haven't got those done yet. Uh, but they do have the processors. The processors do have, at least we've set up and built, uh, the circuit boards. Uh, yep, we're just waiting on stuff to ship in, which is shipping in. We also have set up uh, both the two lanes of uh, microcrystalline components, i.e. the transistors, because um, let's face it, they, they look like transistors, uh, microchips, and capacitors, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that should work if we had an ounce of silicon anywhere on the map. Um, okay, it looks like next episode we're going to be off and investigating why there is no silicon on the map. Uh, because that's a thing. And if we had silicon, in theory, we would have, um, uh, we would have quantum processors up and, no, we'd have processors up and running. We wouldn't have quantum processors up and running. That's going to require just a few more steps. Uh, and there's steps we're going to look at in the next episode. I want you to do copper because we might as well outpost this stuff whilst we're here. Um, so yes, yes, we're, we're, we're like, well, halfway there, partway there, partway there, partway there towards getting the graviton lenses. Anyway, with all that said, this is where I'm going to actually call today's episode. Um, I need to thank you guys for coming along. I need to apologize a little bit for being a little bit scatterbrained. Um, I don't know if I actually came across that way, but I definitely feel that way because um, it's been, it's been, well, it's been about 10 days, <coughs> sorry, 10 days uh, since I looked at, there we go, lack of item. Uh, 10 days since I looked at Dyson Sphere. Um, I had pre-recorded a whole bunch of stuff so I could work upon my studio. And then, uh, well, well, um, didn't get as much done in the studio as I would have liked because I actually lost my father during, well, a week ago now, probably about a week ago by the time you guys see this this video. So I feel a little bit rusty because it's been over a week, well and truly over a week since I've recorded anything. Anyway, enough rambling for me. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And please, please do me a favor, give your mum a call. Stella Jenny said hi. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Bye.